Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be discussing the Grim Speed license plate relocation kit that I got courtesy of edgeautosport.com. Now there's a couple reasons you may want a, a license plate relocation kit like this one. Uh, the reason I got mine was because I didn't want to drill holes into the front bumper. There's actually some pilot holes that it's got here and here in order to put the front license plate on. Uh, but you know, if you move to a state where you don't have to have a front license plate, then I'd like to remove it and I wouldn't like to have drilled holes in the front. Another thing that you may want to take into consideration is putting this front license plate on can actually block some of the airflow to the radiator, or if you have a front mounted intercooler, it could block airflow to the intercooler and reduce performance. Now the Grim Speed kit comes with everything you'll need to install your license plate. So you've got all the hardware, this threaded rod which basically goes on to your tow hook location and then the bracket for the license plate. The one thing you may want to consider getting is just some anti-seize or grease so you can put that on the end of the threaded rod when you connect that to the tow hook location just so that doesn't rust on and get stuck in there. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is pop off this cover for the tow hook. And this can be done just using your hands. Just kind of be gentle and tug it out. So next we'll be putting in this threaded rod which will hold the bracket. And so just put a little bit of anti-seize on the thread there. And Grimspeed recommends torquing that down to 45 pound feet. It's a 17 millimeter bolt. Next, we'll install the small bracket which connects the rod to the license plate frame bracket. And there are spacers included that you can put in front of it if you need it to come out a little bit further, if there's some protruding edge that'll interfere. Uh, in my case, I don't need to. And then you've got this five millimeter hex nut which you can uh, bolt that down and this already has some thread locker on it. So first just kind of hand tighten that uh, and then use the tool to kind of get it in there a little bit. But you want to keep it loose so you can adjust the license plate before you know where you're going to finally install the bracket. Okay, so next we can install the bracket and the things you want to kind of take into consideration here is you've got your fog light to the left which you don't want to block and then you've got your radiator to the right which you don't want to block. So kind of position it so that it's between the two and you'll still have uh, space for the radiator and space for the fog light to shine through. Other than that you can kind of change the height as you desire. So you've got two bolts that you can tighten down the bracket with. And then once those are kind of hand tight, you can position it a little bit more. And then finally you'll want to tighten down that one behind it. Once you've got it in place, tighten everything down. And it comes with the screws needed to tighten down the license plate to the bracket. So there you have it, the fog light still has space. And on the other side, it hasn't interfered much with airflow to the radiator or a front mounted intercooler, all without having to drill anything into the front bumper. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And I'll include a link in the video description for edgeautosport.com so you can head over there and check out the aftermarket parts, not only for Subarus, but many other brands.